Well, welcome everybody to a part of the world where football really matters. There is a healthy tension, great expectation building in the lead up to kick off here. A little bit grey overhead, and indeed the forecast is for a drop or two of rain as the day grows older. But regardless of that, there is a lovely backdrop here. The ambience is good, smashing noise from both sets of supporters, and expectations high in both camps. The Coip often ranked amongst the most intimidating stadiums to play in, and it harks back to the 1960s and 70s in both its looks and its feel. It does seem to be a 4-3-3, Jim. Yeah, and the two wide players up front can make the system pretty much succeed or fail. They'll be quite flexible in their creative movement. They like to drift in. At times, they'll mix their game up and, and keep their width. And, of course, they're also expected to track any runs from opposition fullbacks. So they've got quite hard-working jobs. But if they can gain a one-on-one -on -one advantage, they can dictate. Got things on the way. Great run on the overlap here. Forward it goes. Get a throw in. It's wrestled off the ball. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. And here's Nossing. Nossing. Oh, that's a fine challenge. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. to safety he's got options out wide it's a loose ball swung over into the middle and he's there to hoof it away did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Plays it out to the flank. He's looked long this time, and it's got through. That intervention was very necessary. to get it away has a hit decent enough try very speculative with little threat if any for the keeper they've played it short he can get that clear referee's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time so now the team has broken through but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. To attack on the first 45 minutes. Well, they look lost for ideas and, and lacking in talent, which all contributes to a, a chronic case of impotence. So they head in, no further forward. The score here, still 0-0. So we're just settling back into this second half. 0-0 then, and we're back on the way. <laughs> so 
fair. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Just brushed off the ball there. Well, they can break here. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Eric Botagin. Played out to the right. What an adventurous run from a defender. Gets up to head it! Good delivery, but no joy. AZ can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Karlsdorp tries to get it forward quickly. Massive leap! Hits it again, but still no joy. Feyner might just feel they're onto something here despite not putting that away, you know. Well, we don't need to guess that they expect plenty of, of ball into the box. Yeah, it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now. Well, it's a situation that requires resilience now and, and plenty of fighting spirit. It has to be matched. Late back in. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. He's left his man, and it's Narsing. Oh, that's nice. Well, they've got one eye on the clock, but the balancing act is very fine at this stage. Go for it, and it could backfire. Sit back, and it may be at a price. Foul. Simple decision for the referee. And he's going to have his name taken. Bizot sends that a long way. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Added time is up. And there goes the whistle. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. A little craft or guile or penetration. Defences largely untroubled. It's gold. 